begin. Why I intubate to protect this house called the body from what? Hypoxia, hypercarbia, type 1 respiratory failure, secondary, and then a combination of both, which I call type 3, hypoxia and hypercarbia. Most respiratory failures are a combination of all three, no matter what people say. Hypoxia from what? Bad lungs, interstitial lung disease, pneumonia, ARDS, PE, left sided heart failure, bad lungs. All right? I'm also protecting its structural lack of structural integrity, inflammation of the tongue from angioedema or anaphylaxis, chemical burns, inhalational burns, epiglottitis, even anaphylaxis or angioedema can affect the epiglottis. Food bolus anywhere along this track, God forbid it's at the carina or high up. It's better off to have block off food in the right main stem or left, not both at the same time. You can't survive with one lung. Um, and then what am I protecting the airway from? A bad brain. So this should be connections of the eyeballs to the brain stem, but I try to make it sad. If the brain is affected badly by intoxication from alcohol, any drug that decreases your CNS, respiratory drive, barbiturates, benzos, hypnotics, opiates, bad TVI can make a sad brain. Because with the rather sad brain, there's no coordination of breathing. A stroke, CVA with ischemic or hemorrhagic causes, and a ruptured aneurysm. All these things, if they're affected at once or separately, can cause issues and why I need to intubate the patient to protect this house, to protect the airway. Make sense? First lesson of a third rotation of the year 2020 academic year.